happiness lives in your heart, it lives inside of you. So I think in companies, collaboration, partnerships are more and more important. We must learn to collaborate. Also in society, it would be good to get to know each other, take care of each other a bit more. The human-to-human -human interaction, we can do a lot more. I think we have a real opportunity to unite. One of the most feared uh, risks in the global impact, among others, is our extreme climate changes. And it's not just lack of water and emissions, CO2 and all these problems, but it's uh, the migration problem with uh, refugees. And uh, what do you think? How can we solve this problem? Do you think that people can actually unite globally? Yeah, it's, it's proven a very big challenge indeed. You know, mm -hmm. the weather is now changing globally. Right. What I, makes me hopeful is a few things. Mm -hmm. I think there are real technologies and business solutions that companies can implement. Okay. And we see more and more of those being implemented around the world. Mm -hmm. Secondly, uh, you've seen it here in, in Czech Republic. We've seen it now all around the world. School children are protesting to ask for awareness and attention. And they basically tell us, the adults, that we must now act. Mm -hmm. um, so I think as the weather continues to change, as new technologies are beginning to, to really be invented and matured and scaled up, I think we have a real opportunity to unite. We cannot just talk about this is a big problem, you must stop doing things. We must talk about it much more in terms of opportunities. That's true. And do you think that people can actually only unite based on technologies implementation or it is more actually about us people? Yeah, I think in general there is a big challenge for society to, to remain human-centric. Right. Because, you know, climate change is a big problem, but there are many other big changes going on in the world. Technology is coming more and more into our lives, you know. Mm -hmm. Everybody has a smartphone right. and technology is now everywhere. So I think the big challenge is how do we keep a human-centric society where there are two big challenges that we need to face. One is climate change. Mm -hmm. If we don't solve that, the world will not be a safe space for us and our children to live. Right. And the second is inequality. Because the difference of people who have and who have not is simply becoming too big. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's a lot of things we need to do. Human-centric is the answer. Actually, another big problem, which I think also you as a CEO are aware of, uh, is uh, that there is an, an increasing mental health problems in society. Uh, what do you think is causing this? No, I think I think there's a, there's a lot of issues playing at the same time, and in many ways, it are the unintended consequences of all this technology. You know, if you just walk on the street, that I noticed that even here in Prague, you know, people don't make photos anymore. They just take take their phone and clack 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 clack, <laughs> and then while they are there, they are sending it to all their friends around the world. And they're not really there anymore. They, they are just there to make Instagram pictures. Mm -hmm. uh, when you sit in a train or a metro, people are all texting somebody, but they're not talking to the people who are sitting next to them anymore. So I think society is becoming more and more individual. Mm -hmm. We really must begin to think much harder about the work, but also about how do societies actually function. I mean, technology brings great progress, so I'm not against technology in any way, mm -hmm. but th there are a lot of unintended consequences socially, which just change the way society functions. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure it's not the only way and the only reason for the rising mental problems or depressions. Uh, I think in general, pressure in society goes very much up. Uh, you know, everything is connected all the time. Right. Uh, so you basically anyone knows of every challenge in the world because it's so easy to get to the information. Mm -hmm. But I think in the social interaction, 
the human-to-human -human interaction, we can do a lot more. Uh, what is better in companies in general or in society, families? Is, this, is it better to compete or cooperate? If you talk about climate change, talk about the big impact that technology will have, no company is big or strong enough to solve these issues alone. We must learn to collaborate. Mm -hmm. So I think in companies, collaboration, partnerships are more and more important. Um, but coming back to your previous question, you know, I, I don't know where you live, but do you still know your neighbors? I don't, you know. I live in, G in Geneva in Switzerland. Mm -hmm. I know there are people living next to me and below me. I have no idea who they are. Mm -hmm. uh, so also in society, it would be good to get to know each other, take care of each other a bit more. It's true. So another question is, how can we change that? Yeah, I think by, by taking more care of the community in which we live. So mm -hmm. I'm, when I just said, I don't know my neighbors, I'm basically just talking to myself. Mm -hmm. Isn't it strange that I don't know my neighbors? Well, it actually is now that I think of it. Mm -hmm. So why don't I go knock on the door and say, hey, you want to have a cup of coffee together? There's, there's a lot of, uh, lot of uh, experiments going on mm -hmm. where communities are actually becoming the core of, um, of the economies. The best example in the world is uh, Bhutan, mm -hmm. a small country in, in, in the Himalayas in, in Asia, where they don't measure success of the country in GDP, like, like the economic indicator, mm -hmm. but in the gross happiness coefficient. I like that. Do you think happiness depends on external factors or it is more internal? I think, I mean, we live in a society mm -hmm. where you can be really happy if you put on your nice suit in the morning. You <laughs> think, wow, I look really good. <laughs> well, I don't, but somebody else would. But, um, but we all know that buying more stuff, as nice as it sometimes is, uh, that's not happiness. Exactly. Now, happiness lives in your heart. It lives inside of you. It lives in the in the relationships you have, your friends, your your loved ones, your family. Um, but at even that is not true. It it really only lives in you. And and it's true that too many people think that taking a pill or going to see some some doctor will make them happy. And that's not true. Happiness lives here. I agree with you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you.